Well, good morning, guys. I was just getting us all ready to hurry out to meet a couple people to sell stuff and go to Target and get out of the house and walk around and get a Starbucks. And Sydney just wasn't acting right this morning, really like lethargic or like more out of it and just mellow. Like she didn't fuss when I got her dressed or anything, just really like laid back. So I'm like, man, she maybe she's just trying to wake up because she had just woken up and I was like getting her ready already. So I go to put her in the car, and while this happens, I go to sit her down, and she projectile spews all over, everywhere. So she's laying down, I stripped her down, I probably have some puke on me, and Tristan's in the high chair, and I'm going to clean this up as quick as I can, so it doesn't make the car stink. Success, I cleaned up the car, luckily where she spewed was mostly clothes and mail, and then it was liquidy milk drop not chunk so yay for that um it just looked like almond milk so that's cleaned up i had the lady come meet me here and pick up the table so that i didn't blow her off because she wanted it really bad and this is what's going on right now she's tucked in i've got water and cheerios i figure that's pretty bland help her belly i've hit all the milk now or put it away and he's got the same because he wants to do the same as her and so because she's laying down resting he's laying down resting so let's see maybe cheerios and water will settle her belly i don't know what is going on she didn't puke yesterday she puked two days ago and then she's had like an upset tummy um like poop wise the past couple days and she hasn't eaten a lot the past few days but this is not cold associated i don't know what is going on if it's still i don't know what's bugging her i mean and he knock on wood hasn't had it that he had runs like days and days ago so i just thought like she was getting what he was getting but he never threw up and none of us are you know me and jeff aren't throwing up so i don't know what she has if it's something that is contagious or if it's like like i said like she ate a bad pouch and it's affecting her gut so we're gonna see how today goes and if she's still throwing up or having issues tomorrow, I told Jeff we're going to take her to the walk-in clinic and see what's going on if that's the case. But um, if she doesn't throw up here for a little bit and can get a little energy, we still might go head out so I can pick up some things that maybe she will eat um, or at least some Pedialyte because I know she probably is super dehydrated. Her diaper this morning after sleeping 12 hours maybe had like a tiny pee in it, like one or like a pee. It wasn't very loaded at all. Um, and so that concerns me. So hopefully she drinks water. I know if I give her some Pedialyte, it'd probably help um, her drink a little bit more. So yikes, this has been, uh, these past two weeks has just been crazy between the transfer and that emotional stuff to do with them that and then add me being sick and then them being sick and sick and sick and sick and sick and now Jeff thinks he's getting the cold it's just been ah this is the craziness going on right now while the babies are napping I'm trying to sort all these clothes so I can just sell them in like a package deal because I do not want to like meet 10 million times for a dollar or two dollars so I'm going through clothes I still have clothes there in miscellaneous haven't even gotten to toys and then I've been able to post shoes so far and then I'm trying to like do things like like holiday stuff maybe separately and then yeah I still have clothes that whole bin is bibs and I only have a certain few I like for them that I've kept out so those are all like smaller baby ones we don't use and I gotta get through boy stuff I have more girls because I ended up giving my friend that I met here like a ton of boy stuff um, I just gave it to her when I first met her and so I have way more girl stuff I know it looks like I buy Sydney more but I don't I just gave away like a lot of boy stuff so trying to go through it all and get it sorted and organized and I have our I still have four people I'm meeting four possibly five people I'm meeting today and then uh, meeting people Saturday, meeting people Sunday, and then I still have stuff I have to take pictures of that's in the baby's rooms and closets and post that and and then just keep on talking with people with things that I've posted and try to see how much I can sell. But already the garage is looking way better and once I get through all the kids stuff, then I'm going to sell our kitchen table that's out there and an air mattress and some miscellaneous stuff that we aren't going to use. I'm going to sell. Um, we have skateboards from when Jeff and I, like before we had 
our kids and um, we're trying to be active. We thought it'd be fun to skateboard, but I don't think we're going to be doing that. So like they're the nice ones from Zoomy. So I'm going to try to sell those. This odds and ends like that. Um, this is all in preparation for the hopes that we're moving. Um, I don't know if I've told you guys, but Jeff is flying out next week to um, go talk to some people with his work that live in another state that um, we might be moving. So I'm not going to say specifics yet because nothing's set in stone. However, it's a possibility and I'm praying for that. And then that happens so we can get back to the west coast <laughs> and um, get out of here. So I don't want to move stuff we don't need. And um, well, since we're not pregnant, I don't need to hang on to all this. And if by chance something changes in the future and I miraculously get pregnant, or something, um, then you know I'll buy what we need. But right now, to hang on it, onto it, um, it just gets older and older. And so, really, the resale value then is um, no good because like they replace toys or replace clothes and stuff like that. So, I want to sell it now, get the most bang for my buck. To be honest, I've done really good. Everything that I've sold is like within dollars of what I paid for it, or the same price. I'm not kidding you. Like, say I paid. $20 for something I sold it for 20 so like all I paid for was tax or like the stroller I'm selling one of my double strollers and I paid a hundred for it on Craigslist while well, I'm selling it for 90 so what I rented it for $10 for a year I mean that's pretty good um, everything I've sold I've either made money off of made the same or lost like just a couple dollars so I think that's pretty dang good for like using it so and with clothes I mean new clothes come out and they're cuter and you want to buy them anyway and i've learned that from the babies when i had bought like a year's worth of clothes for them i still ended up buying new clothes so um might as well get rid of those and then we don't need multiple things of things and i want to get less bulky next house we live in i'm not going to do a playroom like an extra bedroom for a playroom i want to have a smaller house i spend so much time cleaning this house um, four bedrooms and the downstairs like I spent so much time cleaning it and it's ridiculous because stuff gets scattered everywhere so um, also too I feel like we have a lot of toys and I want to I'm being more thoughtful about the toys that they like I'm purchasing now or I've gotten them I want them to be like pretend or learning toys not just a whole bunch of stuff um, so I'm downsizing some of that because I had like quite a few toys I bought from Goodwills before we moved here so those are like the toys that I'm getting rid of nothing new that we've purchased and also like baby toys. I have a whole bin of like the softy baby toys. They don't play with those. So I'm gonna get rid of those. Um, and some of the like the ride, like sit on ride toys, they're like too big for now. And yeah, I'm doing good. It feels good I'm making some money and then I can decide what we're gonna do with it or where it's gonna go next. Um, but it's kind of nice to be able to go, hey, look at all this money that's not coming out of budget and we can get what they need next. And um, that's nice, <laughs> it makes it fun. I'm tired. It's like 11.30 and I have been taking pictures and posting stuff like crazy and messaging people and keep trying to keep track of everyone. I'm meeting 11 people so far tomorrow for things that they want and most people are buying like multiple items because I have so many. It's funny everyone keeps messaging me or messages me and is like I want this unless I see more that you have or I'll take this or add this to what I have so that's cool I have a lot of stuff people are like holy cow but yeah we had a, a lot I mean I pretty much I've kind of let stuff go here a couple times I've like sold things but this is like a mass like sell <laughs> like we don't have babies anymore we have toddlers so um, I'm going to take a shower and sit in bed and rewrite my list of everyone I'm meeting so that I don't lose track of anyone because it's been crazy um, how many people I have messaged and talked to in the past couple days and then I still have a ton like the downstairs is a hot mess just everything laid out um, of things that I still have to post and then I still have stuff I have to get out of Tristan's closet and go through his clothes and um yeah i have a lot more i probably easily have a couple more days pretty much this weekend i will be um 
and going through stuff and selling. So anyways, I'm going to call it a night. I will see you guys tomorrow. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I know it wasn't too eventful. Just been doing that and dealing with sick babies who are super crying and needy, um, which is understandable and lots of puke and lots of snot. So yay for snot and puke. Um, all right guys, see you tomorrow. Bye.